Alright, so today's video, I'm going to be giving out a full Soul Reaper guide of how to get your Shikai and as well as your Bankai in the new Project Mugetsu update. And keep in mind, bro, this is a very hard challenge, but if you're up for it, bro, that's up to you. Without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, yo, starting off, how to become a Soul Reaper is very actually easy, I'm not gonna lie. So if you spawn into the game, you never played this game before, if you're actually new because of the new update, all you're gonna have to do is go to Kisuke Urahara and follow his entire quest line. The quests are pretty easy, bro. He's gonna tell you to kill some hollows, tell you to do some other missions here and there, and actually, you're gonna become a Soul Reaper pretty fast. With becoming a Soul Reaper, you will be given a Zanpakuto. But now that you're a Soul Reaper, here's how to activate your Shikai. So obviously, as a Soul Reaper, you do not spawn in with the Shikai, you have to actually work for it. And to work for it, you actually have to meditate. And to meditate, you have to get to the Soul Society, because you cannot meditate in Katakura Town or I think it with a moon though. So if you don't have your Senkai Mon, which is this right here, all you're gonna wanna do is use this and go to your the Soul Society. But if you don't have it, I think all you have to do is go to your skills here, go to Soul Reaper, and it should be here somewhere. Where is it? Right here, Senkai Mon, five mastery, 500 coins. That should be pretty easy to get. Once you get that, all you gotta do is go in here, press K on your keyboard, and start meditating. Once you're in your meditation screen to get your Shikai, bro, obviously you're gonna have to see your Zanpakuto is attained at level five. But once you sit here and meditate to your level five, basically all you have to do is just, it's basically kind of like a rhythm game, but if you mess up, you do lose XP, so try not to mess up at all. So if it's better for you, just go slower with this, because if you do mess up, you lose like 100 XP every every mess up. But basically at level five, it'll tell you what type of Zanpakuto you had. That could be Senbon Zakura, Fyorin Maru, uh, Rujin Jaka, as well as Zangetsu. The best ones in my opinion are probably Senbon Zakura and Rujin Jaka, but the other ones are cool, but definitely not as good in my opinion. Once you know the name of your Shikai, you're gonna wanna keep leveling up until you're level 20 in your meditation. Once you're level 20 in your meditation, it'll give you the option to fight your Zanpakuto. Once you're level 20, it'll let you fight him. You're gonna just press fight Zanpakuto, and then eventually it will teleport you to the Zanpakuto battlegrounds. Once in here, obviously you see you get a little bit of dialogue. Me, I already have my Shikai, so this is all basically just pulling. So I'm just doing this to show you. See, obviously my Shikai's name is Semozakura, so I will be basically fighting Drakia inside my Shikai uh, like battlegrounds. So you're gonna want to do is just fight him, defeat him, and once you defeat him, you will be gifted your Shikai. If you're lower level, the fight is kind of difficult, but obviously if you're higher level, it should not be difficult at all. Obviously, as you see, pretty easy. Homer Hayes should be dead, and boom, that's it. And if you're a Soul Reaper, keep in mind, do not grind in Katakura Town because you will be just. But anyway, once you fight your Zanpakuto, you obviously will be gifted your Zanpakuto powers, but you will have only one attack. You would have to fight your Zanpakuto an undisclosed amount of times, or at least an unknown amount of times to get every single attack. It is not guaranteed if you fight your Zanpakuto four times that you will get every single attack. It's definitely a chance, but probably not. Because I don't know how many times I fought this Zanpakuto and I've never gotten my last attack yet. But yeah, that's basically how you level up and get your Shikai. Now let's get to the Bankais. Now when I say getting your Bankai is difficult, guys, I mean getting your Bankai is difficult. Basically, what you gotta do is instead of meditating to level 20, you have to meditate until you have 75 meditation mastery, which is insane. It doesn't sound like a lot, but once you start meditating for more than 10, 15 minutes, you're gonna know, oh my gosh, this is this is insane. It would definitely take you, if you're like me, bro, a couple of days, maybe a week, bro. I don't even have Bankai yet. I think I'm like level 40 my mastery. The process of getting to a Bankai is not difficult. It's just very, very, very tedious. So the best thing to get your Bankai is probably just getting a private server or hiding somewhere in a dead soul society server and just going into a corner and meditating for the whole time because there's no other way you're gonna be able to get your bankai unless you meditate but once you get to level 75 in your mastery all you're going to do is go back to your zanpakuto training grounds and get your bankai battle now this is where the tricky part comes in in your shikai or bankai battlegrounds there are over 200 of the same zanpakuto on the floor and you have to randomly find the correct sword and use it to actually get your bankai it's just like the real anime when ichigo had to train with yorichi to get his bankai it's the same thing there's like a million of the same sword and you have to find the right sword to use Obviously, if you pick up the wrong sword, you have to use it until it breaks, but don't worry, it's not at like max HP. It has like 65 health, it'll break after a few hits, but then you have to keep picking up random ones. The best thing is, obviously, to not go in a specific order. Just pick up any random sword, and you're more likely to get it faster than going like side to side, front to back with sword order. Just get any one, and you'll probably get it fast. But it is obviously time consuming because it's a completely RNG, but you might get lucky and get it first try. Probably not, but it's definitely a possibility because it's random. But eventually, after all that time, you will find the right sword, and it will let you know that you've picked up the right sword. But once you picked up the correct example, all you're gonna want to do is just finish off the boss and boom, bro, you will have your Bankai. Then all you have to do is go into the game, do your Bankai release message, and there you go. But yeah, yeah, that's basically your full no-nonsense quick tutorial, for, like it's basically how to get everything as a Soul Reaper, your Shikai, how to become a Soul Reaper, as well as how to get your Bankai. But without any further ado, I'm gonna have to ask you guys to like this video if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and your Discord link in the description. And comment down below, if you guys have Bankai, how hard is it to get Bankai? But without any further ado, I'm gonna see you all later.